In this short video, we're going to run through the process of finding a fight song and uploading it to your new Boom Blasters Big Bubba USB horn. This is for the USB people, the USB users. Uh, and this also will work for the doorbells or doorbells as well. If you want to upload your own song and find your own song, it's a pretty easy process. So, for example, we went up here and we typed in Auburn Tigers fight song. Okay, there's a couple different options you can go through. You can either find a video and extract and then extract the audio file off of it, or like for this example. Uh, we know there's a there's a website called fightmusic.com, right? So we would go we would go possibly go here, right? And you could also you could check your team right here. If you want to go to the main page, you should go here, go fightmusic.com, and then choose your uh, ACC, SEC, or whatever one you want, right? Um, but here we go. We can go down here and we're looking for Albert Tigers, for example. And look, War Eagle. Okay, so let's go here and click the War Eagle. <laughs> Okay, at this point, it's an MP3, so we can see it's an MP3. It's our, our units require MP3 files. We will not work with WAV files or any other type of file. So the example, guys, we just right-click this and then save the audio as and save it, right? Pretty simple process, right? Look, that was easy enough, and we could save it. So i open a folder up and show you what I saved. And here's a folder to save that, guys. We save it in a new folder. You can save it on your desktop or whatever, but this is an audio file we just downloaded, right? <laughs> Right. So, uh, and there's another way to do it too, guys. If you can't just, if you find just a video and you can't find an actual sound file, there's two, another way you can go about it here too. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna open this new tab. You just click if you wanted to, but you have to wait for the advertisement to go hey, through. Ryan Dice here, and I wrote a book. I'm really excited about it. Never thought that I would actually take the time to do. So now I can skip the ad, and then fight song start. Fight song starts playing. So what I can do here, guys, is go up here and copy this URL. All right, it's pretty simple. There's another video down below showing this process as well, but I want the audio maybe out of this fight song, right? Sounds pretty good. So what I do at this point, I would go to Google and type in YouTube to MP3, okay? And then you see right here what you would see at the very top would be YouTube-MP3.org, okay? So you would simply just click that and see this little URL right here. You would just go ahead and copy and paste your yours in here, whatever this one right here, right? I would get paste, copy this one here. Go over here and paste it in here, which I just did, right? Go ahead and paste it. And I say convert video. It takes a couple seconds. See how fast that was? That was probably about a second. And what I do at this point is say download, okay? And it'll ask you what do you want to do. You don't want to open it. You want to save it. You can't. You got to save it so you can put it on your your horn or the doorbell, right? Okay. Then we'll save it. You can name it here what you want to. Uh, it's already named for us, but you can go ahead and name it here. It doesn't make a difference which you name it. Uh, because it'll still work on our, our horns. You, don't, you can put dashes, spaces, or whatever you want if you wanted to. If you really want to do something like this and put dashes in, it doesn't really make a difference, okay? So just letting you know as long as you do it this way and don't, you do not put .mp3 behind it because it will not work. Because it's already MP3 format, see? So you do not need to put anything behind this. It'll know it's with MP3, okay? So doing something like this will mess it up. You do not do this, okay? That is a no-no, okay? This is a, definitely a no-no. So do not do this, okay? and put the dot mp3 behind it because it already knows it's an mp3 file so uh, I'm going to save that file and open up I'll show you the folder here again and look I could put my uh, mouse over here all right and it says mp3 here at the very bottom right so we know it's an mp3 file so at this point it's pretty good easy smeezy okay so if there's two ways I showed you to find files because if you wanted to look for another kind of file like maybe a, 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 a gunshot sound or something like that we don't do gunshot sounds but uh, I know I don't recommend doing it either, but some people want it, and we don't do that for our business, okay? So you can do the same thing here. You can go to YouTube, you can find a good gun sound that you wanted, right? So it's not too good of one, I don't think, but it's like Sound Snap. There's a lot of different ones, guys. You can found, find sound files and stuff. You just have to go search for them, okay? Free gunshot sounds. There you go. It's a good idea. If you want to possibly go there on Sound Bible, that's a good, pretty good one. So if we did Sound Bible, we could go here and listen to them, right? There's a place you can listen to it. Here. Okay, maybe I like that one, so I'd probably should go here. And, and I would download the MP3 right here. Because you can see this is a wave. It's MP3, and this is a zip, okay? What I'd do is I'd click this, save file, and I'd keep that one there. I'm probably going to rename this one. Uh, just call it Gunshot or something. 9mm Gunshot gunshot okay 
in case you want to put more sounds on them. Keep in mind, guys, you can only put one sound on the horns, our horns. On the, on the big Bubba USB horns, you can only put one sound on it. Now, on the doorbells that we have, you can, you can put multiple sounds on them and program the doorbells to, to play uh, different sounds, but not at the same time. But you can program the doorbells to do different things, right? So you can put, you know, 20 or 30 sounds on the doorbell and then program it to play whatever one you want, okay? Uh, on the our car horns, keep in mind, you can only put one sound file on there and you only only play the one sound file, okay? So you see here that I do have the 9mm there, it's an MP3, there's the one I just downloaded. And always keep in mind too, everyone, that you want to check your file after you download it and make sure it does actually work, right? That sounds pretty good. And that sounds good. Two good, good, two good versions we could use, right? So uh, that's probably how easy that is to grab your song. And like we, we said before, you know, our, our instructions, our instruction sheets, and so forth. Guys, we do not go find sounds for you. We do not you know, download sounds for you. We want to send them to you. That's your job. That's why we sold you the uh, USB horn to be able to put your own sounds on it. That's why they come uh, this one. Uh, sound that we put on them from the factory to test them and so forth. Most of them have God Bless America on them. Uh, but you have, you know, it's your responsibility to find your own sounds, edit, and uh, chop your own sounds, whatever you've got to do with it, because we do not offer that services, okay? Uh, we do, all, do not offer offer support for your computer and stuff and uploading the files and knowing how to copy and paste, okay? So uh, we're not trying to be rude or anything, but, you know, we sell the horns to, to your knowledge that you know how to use a thumb drive. It's basically the horn is like uh, hooking a thumb drive up to a computer and it stores files. So in, in this case, you just store an MP3 file, one MP3 file, and you're putting on your horn or your doorbell, okay? So now we're going to go through the process real quick. So say, for example, you hook your USB, your horn up, uh, the USB cable to your horn, and then you hook it up to a, a, an available USB port either on your computer or on your laptop, right? You have to have a, an available USB port, standard USB port, to hook this up, okay? So we'll go over here and hook up our horn real quick. Okay, guys, we're going to hook our horn up to USB port, and what happens is it's going to pop up here, and you'll see a box pop up. Okay, so it might be different. This is being tested on a Windows 7 machine, uh, your Windows 8 machine, or 10 machine, or XP machine, or whatever machine might be different. But what you want to do is open the file and folder and, and view the files. It's, sim it's really simple as that. When you do that, when it does a prompt here. Now, some computers, when you plug into a USB port, it won't automatically pop up like it. Sometimes Windows acts funny like that. Uh, any operating system can act kind of glitchy like that. So you might have to go to my computer and then open up uh, the, the drive itself. And make sure you also have a good USB port. Sometimes a computer USB ports will get corrupted, get messed up. Uh, if it's not working in the so one side USB port, most computers have you know four to six USB ports. Laptops might have two. But check it on, an, on also on another USB port. Make sure also ensure that you're not turning the cable the wrong way and forcing your USB cable into your port and damaging your USB port on your computer. It's very important you have a good working USB port uh, to work with so you can upload your sounds. If you want to change your sound later, for example, if you have a fight song you want to use during football season, you want to change it to maybe a duck sound or, or some other types of sound, uh, or, you know, a, a horse sound or something like that during... Uh, hunting season and stuff, right? Maybe you want a duck sound on your horn, then you'll be doing the same thing. You'll just go in there and delete the file that's in there and replace it, right? So let's go to open this and, and view the file for the files here. It's in here. And right now, this case, we have God Bless America, okay? So this is what it would look like. It's a removable disc, guys. You see this? It's just, actually what it is. It's a removable disc. It's as simple as that. Uh, you have one file in here, and we have, you know, it's got storage, storage capability here of uh, four, 4 megabytes. It's basically 3 three megabyte when you get down to it, guys. You can put a maximum on there. Uh, the file that's on here, it's 1.5 megabyte at this time. So what you would want to do, so for example, we really want to take uh, one of these out of the ones we downloaded, right? This is the, the thing we would want to do. And you see here, I'm going to go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and delete this, guys. I'm go ahead and delete this file and say delete it. This is one, if it comes with a different file in here, guys, go ahead and just delete it. Doesn't worry, don't worry about it, but uh, most of our horns do come with God Bless America on them already, pre-done. Uh, so just go ahead and delete this, guys. Simple as this, right? See that? And you go ahead and choose the one you want. I'll just go ahead and copy this and paste this. And give it a second, give it a minute here to copy everything over. It needs to copy over to your horn. To, to the memory space that's inside the horn, okay? And this says it's going to take a couple minutes here, not too long. Alright? So just be patient and let it do its thing here. And it's already downloaded, right? It's pretty simple. Uh, this file, see how much space that took up? It wasn't much. 
uh, eight, not even one megabyte. See, so uh, you can usually do pretty good size uh, songs and files on here. Now, if you're playing like a whole song or something like that, a rap song or some kind of you know copyrighted song, which we don't recommend, but that's you know <laughs> your your you know with your discretion and what you're going to do, right? Uh, but we said a simple process, guys. This shouldn't be shouldn't be hard at all. It's a really really easy process to upload your uh, upload or download, however you want to say it, your own sound to your horn. So like I said, keep in mind it must be an MP3. It cannot be a WAV file, as it will not play, and it has to be you know at least less than three megabytes. Most songs you're going to find it's going to be probably about two megabytes tops, two and a half maybe. So you should be able to. Uh, put but just about any song in here but like I said keep in mind only one at a time people so you know if you want to change it out for example you you have a computer and you don't want to unhook it back from your vehicle well get a laptop get someone's laptop or your own laptop and, and carry it out to your car your vehicle your your golf cart uh, your bus your truck your your uh, camper or whatever you got you've got this installed on and just carry a laptop simple guys just carry a laptop out to your uh, to your horn hook the USB to it and a copy of another file over. It's a really simple process, and uh, you guys are going to really enjoy your horns. Really good uh, horns that we've come out with here, and people are enjoying the heck out of it. And you can also do this with the doorbells, guys. And like I said, on the doorbells now, for example, you can put uh, you can put all these, you can put a whole bunch of stuff on. So, for example, if you was working with the doorbell, then you can just put all kinds of music on here that you want. You know, 10, 20 different kinds of music songs on it. You want to keep them short though, because the doorbells only play for 20 seconds. Okay. Uh, the car horns will play all the way through the cycle. So once you cycle the car horn, it will play all the way through your song, okay? Uh, if it's a long song, like a fight song, you might want to consider ch chopping it down. And we do have a video down below showing you how free software that you can use to uh, shorten the video, cut pieces of video, and that kind of stuff. Again, that's not, we don't offer technical support for cutting audio files, uh, chopping them, you know, adjusting them or anything like that. You'll need to find a professional that knows what they're doing there. Uh, it's really pretty easy process. You know, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, and find you know a friend, a family member. Uh, if you're you know, a little bit older and you don't understand this stuff, maybe you have a grandson or a grandchild, granddaughter that'll help you out, or hire somebody. There's a good website, guys. You can also go to called Fiverr.com. Let me show it. Let me go ahead and pull the page up here. Okay, I've got uh, Fiverr.com pulled up for you here. Uh, I'm not sure why it's pulling up the UK here, but Let's go ahead and try to find out why. Well, it's pulling up UK, and we want to pull up America for the most part. And it's pulling up UK for me. But uh, here's the thing, guys. You can go in here and find somebody to do uh, audio, uh, music and audio, mixing, remastering, and stuff like that here, right? So if you do music audio, you can mix and remastering, sound of forges. So you can get things done here, right? So this is kind of what you would want to do. And, you can, and this is $5.00. So this is not people that's going to actually most of the time get the songs for you, but they can edit them to what you want it done. Okay, it's five bucks, and I think it's fifty fifty cents extra because this Fiverr this this website charges fifty cents, and the other people get a little piece, right, for doing the work. Uh, I will remaster your song. I will do this. So just kind of just go through here, guys, and look for people who has you know good feedback as well. Uh, you can also go here and look for uh, seller ratings, right? So I would probably look for top rated sellers over here on the side here uh, English for example for sure uh, English and uh, and if you have a question you can also ask these people you can contact them and say hey uh, can you do something for a uh, certain thing is cut a file for me or so forth right so if you don't feel comfortable doing that it is an easy process guys it really is uh, if you watch a couple of videos that we have down below uh, that will help you understand uh, how to uh, find your own files and how to uh, edit them. Like I said again, we do not offer support for this, guys. We only offer, you know, guarantee that our horn units are good and they work in working condition. Otherwise, uh, you're on your own to find your own sound files and edit your own sound files. Again, we don't offer support or, or computer support or anything like that. Understand how to open open it up and, and uh, plug it into your computer. Okay. So I hope you guys got a lot of this. This, uh, this it's really easy process. I just wanted, and this video took a little bit longer than uh, I anticipated, but we really want you guys to understand how easy this is to do. You probably have already copied and pasted your music on there and, uh, and already done by now, but anyways, uh, easy stuff, guys. Enjoy your horn unit or your doorbell, and we'll talk to you guys soon.